Chapter 4 Analysis of Sections The analysis of sections involves determining the material properties and the stress-strength relationship of a reinforced concrete section in order to acquire the force and moment acting within the section. The analysis is based on three fundamental principles. First, the stress and the strain developed within the sections are interrelated and they are closely related to the material property. Their relationship can be obtained from the stress strain curve of the respective material, such as the concrete and steel. Next, the distributions of the strain must be compatible with the distorted shape of the cross sections. This is important to ensure that the strength developed within the sections is predictable and hence the stresses developed in the sections can be calculated. Third, the resultant force developed by the sections must balance the applied load for the static equilibrium. On basis of the principle of static equilibrium, we are able to determine the forces generated within the sections. This slide shows the stress strain relationship for the concrete and steel. As given in the figures here. In general, the stress increase together with the strength until to a certain limit it reach its characteristic strength and then it is assumed to maintain within the limits of the characteristic strength. The concrete is expected to achieve its characteristic strength at 0.002 strength while the steel is expected to reach its characteristic strength at 0.00217 strength. The characteristic strength here represents the grade of the materials such as the concrete grade and steel grade. The concrete grade is determined by the characteristic cylinder strength FCK. The steel grid is represented by characteristic yield strength given by the manufacturer FYK. The design strength of the concrete and the steel is in the functions of the characteristic strength of each material divided by their respective partial factors of safety. The partial factors of safety for the concrete is equals to 1.5 while the partial factor of safety for steel is equals to 1.15. For the concrete, there is an additional factor which correlate between the bending strength with the crushing strength of the cylinders. It is normally taken as 0.85. Substituting the relevant value into the equations, the design compressive strength of the concrete is given by 0.567 FCK. Substitute the relevant value into the design yield strength of the steel, the design strength of the steel is equal to 0.87 FYK. These design strengths are normally smaller than the characteristic strength. The differences is mainly due to the factors of safety applying to the characteristic strength. As for the strength, there are limits for the concrete and the steel. For concrete grade less than grade 50, the maximum strength will be 0.0035. As for the steel, the yield strength will be equal to 0.00217. 
This number is essential in the analysis of the reinforced concrete sections, which will be discussed in the following videos.